Good morning, dear students. Today we will learn Pythagoras theorem, one of the most important chapter of mathematics in standard time. We will see the Pythagoras theorem. We will learn the converse of Pythagoras theorem. We will try to solve a few questions. Now, whenever you learn the Pythagoras theorem, first remember, get by heart the statement because often in exam it comes state the Pythagoras theorem, state and prove the Pythagoras. So statement of Pythagoras theorem, you have to remember. The Pythagoras theorem says, in a right angled triangle, it should be a right angled triangle. If it is right angled triangle, then only Pythagoras theorem will work. Square root of the hypotenuse is equal to the equal to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse will be is equal to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides. I have taken, I have made a triangle ABC. I have named that angle B is equal to 90 degree and we have to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC is the hypotenuse. Which one is the hypotenuse? And side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. We have to prove this one. In order to prove this, we will draw a perpendicular from B on AC. So I am writing here, here BD perpendicular to AC dropped. Now proof. In proving it, we will take, you see, by dropping this BD perpendicular on AC, what we are finding that original triangle, original right angle triangle ABC is divided into three triangles. One original triangle ABC, the other right angle triangle is ADC and the third right angle triangle is BDC. So we will take the upper triangle, upper triangle in triangle ABC, whole triangle we are taking and triangle ABC we have taken way BC to so ADB in upper triangle ADB we are taking the whole triangle we are taking the upper triangle ABC and ADB in these two triangles we can say that angle A equals to angle A reason is the that is the common angle in both the triangles and angle ABC is equal to angle ADB. Why? Each 90 degree. Therefore, the triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB by double A criteria, double A similarity. And if it happens, then first second by first second, therefore, AB by AD is equal to BC by DB is equal to AC by AB. Now you take the first and the last. Just take this two, product of these two. What we will find? Just it is redundant. It is not required. AB that is, okay, let me remove. AB by AD is equal to AC by AB. If you do the cross multiplication, you will find AB square is equal to AC into AD. Call it as equation number one. So we have taken the whole triangle and the upper triangle. Similarly, we will take the whole triangle and the lower triangle. In triangle ABC, and triangle ABC we have taken so we will let ABC we will take BDC BDC now see in these two triangles angle C equals to angle C why that is common angle ABC is equal to angle BDC ABC and BDC why they are 90 degree each therefore Triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC by which criteria? Double A criteria. 
and if it happens then first second by first second so corresponding sides will be proportional AB by BD is equal to BC by DC is equal to AC by BC now you take these two ratio only because the cross product of these two ratio will give you BC square we are required here BC square is also needed so take the cross product that will give us BC square is equal to AC into DC and call this as equation number 2 now on adding 1 and 2 we get see what is the left hand side of 1 that is AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AD plus AC into DC AC into DC what common you will take AC if you are taking AC what will be left AD plus DC now see AD plus DC what you will get it will be AC so it will be AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AC that gives us AB square plus BC square equals to AC square proved so once again dear students ABC is a triangle in which angle B is 90 degree we have to prove AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square in construction we have dropped BD perpendicular on AC now we are proving the similarity between ABC and ADB by double A similarity criteria we can prove this result we will take those two proportions ratios whose cross product give us square that is AB square is equal to AC into AD similarly we are taking the triangle ABC and BDC ABC and BDC we will prove the similarity by using double A criteria and then again cross corresponding sides will be proportional we will take the cross product we will get BC square is equal to AC into DC 2 now on adding equation number 1 and equation number 2 we will prove the Pythagoras theorem this is your Pythagoras theorem dear students now I hope you have understood this Pythagoras theorem after this Pythagoras theorem we will see the converse of the Pythagoras theorem converse of Pythagoras these two are very important our next one converse of Pythagoras theorem converse of Pythagoras theorem statement in any triangle if the sum of the square of the largest side is equal to sum of the square of 
the remaining two sides then the angle opposite to the largest side will be of of measure will be of measure 90 degree or the triangle will be a right angle triangle in any triangle if the square of the largest side is equal to sum of the square of the remaining two sides then the angle opposite to the largest side will be will be of measure 90 degree so what it is you see let abc be a triangle we will not call it as right angle triangle given in triangle abc ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square to prove angle b equals to 90 degree ABC is a triangle clearly seen that AC is the largest side and we have suppose that AC is the largest side such that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square we have to prove angle B equals to 90 degree. Now in construction we will come to the construction line. Construction. We draw a triangle PQR such that QR equals to BC, PQ equals to AB, PQ equals to AB and angle PQR equals to 90 degree. We have drawn a right angle triangle with measurement QR equals to BC, PQ equals to AB and we have made this PQR as 90 degree. Our construction is over. Now proof. In right triangle PQR with angle Q is equal to 90 degree, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. From where? From Pythagoras theorem. It is a right angle triangle. This is not a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. So PR with the hypotenuse, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Now PQ is equal to AB, so we can write it as AB square and QR is equal to BC, we can write it as BC square since PQ is equal to AB and PR is equal to QR is equal to BC we, by construction, P, QR is equal to BC. Call this as equation number 2. Now seek equation number 1 and equation number 2. LHS of both the equations. This is RHS is AB square plus BC square of equation 2. And RHS is AB square plus BC square in equation number 1. So RHS of both the equations are same. So we can write from 1 and 2 we get what we get. We get that AC square is equal to PR square that gives us AC equals to PR. So AC equals to PR we have proved. Now in triangle ABC and triangle PQR in these two triangles ABC and PQR in these two triangles 
what we will get you see a b equals to p q by construction b c equals to q r again by construction and a c is equal to p r proved above we have proved this one therefore triangle a b c is congruent to triangle p q r by which criteria s s s congruency that we have learnt in standard 9 if three three sides of a triangle are respectively equal to three sides of another triangle then the triangles are congruent by sss congruency and if it happens therefore by cpct corresponding part of congruent triangles we can say angle b equals to angle q and what is the value of angle q angle q is equal to 90 degree proved so this is your converse of pythagoras theorem i hope dear students you have understood abc is a triangle given it is an ordinary triangle ac is the longest side ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square we are given with this fact we have to prove that the side opposite to the greatest side longest side ac will be 90 degree we draw a triangle PQR such that AB is equal to PQ, BC equals to QR and angle PQR is equal to 90 degree. Now we have to prove in these two triangles we are coming in triangle PQR. PQR angle Q is 90 degree so it is a right angle triangle and if it is a right angle triangle Pythagoras theorem will work. Therefore PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. But PQ can be sub substituted by AB square and qr can be substituted by bc square and this is the equation number two now see the equation number one and equation number two rhs of both the equations are same that is ab square plus bc square therefore lhs will also be equal from one and two we get ac square is equal to pr square that gives us ac is equal to pr now in triangle abc and pqr just see ab is equal to pq by construction bc equals to qr by construction and AC equals to PR proved above. Therefore, triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent by SSS congruency. Hence, by CPCT, we can say angle B will be equals to angle Q. And what is the value of angle Q? By our construction, it is 90 degree. Therefore, angle B equals to 90 degree. I hope these two theorems you have learned, you have understood. Now, in my next lecture, I will start the problems from Pythagoras theorem a few problems I will have to share with you so dear students go through it go through the Pythagoras converse of Pythagoras and uh, try to understand it in my next class I will start with such a problems of Pythagoras theorem which are very important from your exam point of view till then dear students goodbye